एजी वन जीरो फोर और माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज योर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एसोसिएट इज अ रोल बेस्ड सर्टिफिकेशन दैट वैलिडेट योर एबिलिटी टू इम्प्लीमेंट मैनेज एंड मॉनिटर द एज योर क्लाउड एनवायरमेंट हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द टेक ब्लैक बोर्ड एंड दिस इज आवर लेटेस्ट एजी वन जीरो फोर एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन सीरीज targeting the exams in 2024 and friends our approach to the exam is very simple but effective we are preparing the exam by taking the practice questions and understand the complex cloud concept in a very simple and easy to understand manner so let's get started So let's begin part 15 with question number 101 and please note we have already made the century of the questions and this is the next level so let's read the instructions or the notes first and the notes tells us that this question is included in a number of questions that depicts the identical setup however every question has a distinctive result and we have to establish if the solution satisfies the requirement so basically in these kind of questions you will be given multiple questions identical but the solution given in the question that that will be different and of course we have to pick the right solution so let's read the question the question says that your company's azure subscription includes two azure network named virtual network a and virtual network b now the virtual network a includes a vpn gateway that is configured to make use of static routing and also note a side to side vpn connection exists between company's on premises network and virtual network a and this is very important point to note that the company has a azure network virtual network a and they also have a side to side vpn connection between this azure network and the on premises network moving on the question says that you have configured a point to side vpn connection to the virtual network a from a workstation running in windows 10 and after configuring the virtual network pairing between virtual network a and virtual network b You confirm that you are able to access virtual network B from the company's on-premises network. Now the problem is that you find that you are not able to establish the connection to the virtual network B from the Windows 10 workstation, and you have to make sure that a connection to the virtual network B can be established from the Windows 10 workstation. So basically, you can access the virtual network B from the company's on-premises network, but then simultaneously you also have to make sure that this virtual network B is also available or accessible from this Windows 10 workstation. And now the solution. solution given is that you choose to allow gateway transit setting on virtual network a now does this solution meet the goal yes or no and friends this is not the correct solution that's why no is the correct answer and as i said in these kind of questions you will get multiple similar questions but with different solution so let's check out the other variation of the same question and then i will tell you the correct answer and also help you understand why we choose that answer so here it comes question number 102 question exactly is the same let's read the solution the solution says that this time you choose to allow gateway transit setting on virtual network b in the previous question we did the same on the virtual network a and now we are doing the same on virtual network b does this solution meet the goal yes or no and once again this is not the correct solution that's why no is the correct answer and now let's check out the third variation of the same question let's read the solution the solution says that you downloaded and reinstalled the vpn client configuration package on windows 10 workstation Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And yes my friends, this is the correct solution. That's why yes is the correct answer. Now let me help you understand what is this question all about. So first of all, we have to understand that this Windows 10 workstation is on premises. The reasoning for the same is that the point to site VPN connection is established from a workstation running in Windows 10. and then it has also been confirmed that we can access the virtual network from company's on premises network so one thing is confirmed that the windows 10 workstation is on premises now the issue is that we cannot establish a connection to the virtual network b from the windows 10 workstation now let me throw some more details on what is the exact issue hey you can see that the allow gateway transit setting is related to the virtual network pairing in azure that allows one virtual network to use the vpn gateway in another virtual network and enabling this setting on the virtual network b would allow the traffic from the virtual network a to the transit through the gateway in virtual network b however it does not directly affect the point to site vpn connection from the windows 10 workstation 
to virtual network A. So what do we do now? There are a few steps that you can do. First of all, we have point to site VPN configuration. So in this one, we have to ensure that the point to site VPN configuration on the Windows 10 workstation is correctly set up and the necessary certificates and the authentication settings are in place. And then we have network security group, which is also known as NSG rules. So in this one, we have to review the network security group rules associated with the subnets of the virtual network B. And we need to make sure that the necessary rules are in place to allow the traffic from Windows 10 workstation to reach the virtual network B. And then we have VPN gateway configuration. Now here, my friends, we have to verify the configuration of the VPN gateway in the virtual network A. And we need to check if any specific setting or configuration are required to allow traffic from point to site VPN connection to reach the resources in the virtual network B. And then finally, let's talk about the routing configuration. And here we have to confirm that the routing configuration, especially the static routes in the virtual network A is correctly set up to allow the traffic from the point to site VPN connection to reach the virtual network B. So those were the few steps that you could take to resolve this issue. So friends, in case you're already thinking why I have presented such a great detail and how are these details connected to the question? Well, take a deep breath, read the question once again and read all the solution. And then these details will help you resolve the issues when you're facing them in real time. But for now, let me jump back very briefly to the correct solution that we picked and then we will move on to the Microsoft documentation. So this was the correct solution that we picked. The solution said that you downloaded and reinstalled the VPN client configuration package on Windows 10 workstation. Now let's validate our answer with the Microsoft documentation. So as you can see on this Microsoft documentation, this is all about the point to site VPN routing. You can read this detailed documentation. It's a very lengthy documentation with lots of scenarios given here. So you can read all the documentation, understand what you have to do when you have multiple peer VNet, or you can also understand what should you do and how to resolve the issue in case you have multiple VNets connected using S2S VPN. So a lot of business cases are given, but the point or the main crux of this documentation that I want to show you where we can validate our answer as well is this one. And it says that if you make change to the topology of your network and have Windows VPN client, the VPN client package for the Windows client must be downloaded and installed again in order for the changes to be applied to the client. And that's exactly the answer that we have picked for this question. Now let's move on to the question number 104. The question says that your company wants to have some post deployment configuration and automation task on Azure virtual machines. And the solution given is that as an administrator, you suggested to use ARM templates. Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And this one, my friends, could you guess it whether it's a correct or incorrect solution? Well, this is an incorrect solution. So that's why no is the correct answer. And yes, I know you are eager to know the correct solution. So here it comes. Question number 105. Question exactly is the same. Let's read the solution. The solution says that as an administrator, this time you suggested to use virtual machine extensions. Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And yes, my friends, this is the correct solution. That's why yes is the correct answer. And why not validate our answer on this documentation? You can read here that the Azure virtual machine extensions are small application that provides post deployment configuration and automation tasks on Azure virtual machines. For example, if a virtual machine requires software installation, antivirus protection, or the ability to run a script inside of the virtual machine, you can use the virtual machine extension. And please note that the virtual machine you can run by using Azure CLI, PowerShell, Azure Resource Manager template, and Azure Portal. And the links to all the documentation is right there in the description box. You can read whenever your time permits and increase your knowledge. So I hope you understood all the questions and the answers and also the concepts hidden in those questions. In case you did, please take a brief moment to like the video. And of course, in case you are new here today, please consider subscribing to the channel as we bring multiple videos and shorts to enhance your cloud learning. And you can also visit our website, read our blogs and join the YouTube membership community that begins at just rupees 89, but it gives you a whole array of extra exam resources. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.